In our last video, part one of this practical real life cloudy day sight fishing for big brown trout tutorial, we shared the morning session of this day's effort. We pick up from part one just afternoon as we wander the valley, slowly picking apart this stream, hunting smudges, shapes and movement, and all other little indicators of the presence of essentially one big brown trout per kilometer. It's a fun game we love to share together. undercuts that always want there to be but never has been 15 years and I don't think we've ever caught a fish there you know that yeah I just don't know if it's not enough flow or what the heck but it just doesn't produce never has like it's such good water to us well this isn't easy so Where's the fish going to be? Who the heck knows, right? So hard to know where this fish is going to be. It's crazy dark. Just looking for a smudge. Long leader. As much of a buffer between end of your fly. Ah, don't lift it like that. Got him. Yeah. Just working that long leader. I was just going to comment. Can you grab the net off my back, please? I was just going to comment that the reason for, a, oh, I'm sorry, a long leader is because you want the buffer between the end of your fly line and your fly in hopes of giving yourself a chance to put your fly where it needs to be. And that fish was a pure upstream eater. And in other words, I just got the fly just above this fish and it just literally ate. I was like, yep. Nice. Sweet. I like that. Lucky, hey? Absolutely. Gotta you get gotta that, be, man. You gotta have luck. Heck yeah. You gotta have luck on your side there. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's cool, hey? Oh, my tippet's underneath a peck fin there. So. Uh oh. When flies in its mouth, it's just wrapped around a fin yeah it's just those edges hey when you're totally blind like that guys the reason i use such a long leader again another benefit is exactly that keep those keep your fly line out of fishy water and in this kind of light the fish aren't going to see your long leader they're not going to see your tippet but they are going to react to your fly and if your line isn't landing on the water and all that happens is the fish feels all right. that lateral response key up, then you got a chance. Not quite there. Yep. Working. Nice, see? <laughs> Happy for you. Took a bit of time, but she came in. That's her. Or a small head of key. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a good fish weight wise yeah. just do this um five three quarter oh sweet yeah are you ready that anytime here here we go yeah wicked nice. <laughs> nice all right it's funny because somebody would say how the hell can you can you not see the fish in this water? And it's hard to describe. Hey, the the wind, the surface chop, you know, those things really affect and distort. Yeah, they do. Until I guess like that. That's right. <laughs> that, that, and then, then I feel like I'm right on top of these fish and have to back, I get force myself to back off. To hide, to hide behind. But I mean, how many fish are going to be exposed in shallow stuff like that, right? Yeah. 
I cannot see a fish and being in here until well we know the next couple runs up okay so you spotted one so it's right in the middle of the creek right there it just went left far that's that smidge no i went far left so over there right now and now he's back home right in the middle there okay i think i that's see that dark, dark shape yeah. yeah that's, that's a his fish greenish head there he's glowing now with that sun got him out. yeah yeah okay i got him there okay okay so his the, what oh he came to his right right yeah, yeah. So what tipped me off actually okay. was that he rose right below the tussock so I, I got was looking you. there the whole time that's why i hadn't seen him ah okay yeah. okay so. but that's still that's not him right in the middle that's him a little further up yeah that's what i've got in the middle just out from the tussock Exactly yeah, going. that's what I mean. That's what I'm getting at. Now I got, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, he's going home now. Okay. I am rolling, and I'm going to go soon, Dave. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Oh yeah, what a fish, what a fish. Oh, wow, screamed. Again, I didn't crank on him, otherwise I would have lost the fly. I think that was just a situation where he charged to that bank and, uh, and it just simply popped out. Bummer, because it was gorgeous looking fish from, from when it turned, I was going, hey, that's a beauty. But then charged to the bank and popped off. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do about that? Saw yeah. yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, it's just big chompers chomping. Yeah, sometimes you don't connect on those. No, no, I thought it was a great drift. Well, let's go find another one. Yeah, okie dokie. Anytime it's cloudy, it never goes very well here. And yeah, can you see against my bank at all? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. I'm gonna swing all the way around, love. He hasn't seen me. There's a there's a brown that's right across from me, swimming upstream to you. Just over here, I still see him. Just, but he's slowly swimming upstream. Are you able to cast at it, love? How far off that bank is he? He's just out in the middle here. How deep? Not that deep when he came up to nymph there. There we go. Wow. Right beside me and coming down over top of him, right? Yeah. Here he comes. Nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow, I wish I could have had the camera on that because that was right at me, hey? Absolutely. What a gorgeous fish. Stunner Mills. Yep. <laughs> wow, That's amazing. That was so gorgeous. I was like, really? That's going to be right beside me. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah, it was right underneath this bank coming right up at me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. You got to catch this fish. Yeah. What a. That was super cool. Maybe my my funnest moment today. Yeah, hey. Yeah, seeing that fish slowly slink his way up in the dirtier water, all yeah. the way up right beside me, going, "Oh, he doesn't know I'm here. He's coming in right where you're crossing." Oh, he wicked! Awesome, amazing. awesome. Yeah. I'll trade you. Ready? Good. Round to me. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Downstream release. Okay, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> Good job, love. Wow, thank you, hey. man. <laughs> that was super awesome. Yeah, it made sense for me to go for it. Oh yeah. It just truly did, oh, yeah, and I, I guess that's you know that's why I did. I mean, yeah guys, you know, just an off chance thing where that water was really murky. And I just suddenly happened to look out and right beside me and pretty much where Dave's kind of standing, maybe just a little bit 
over to his side and that fish just decided to come up and he looked kind of creamy in this water. I could see the side of him. He looked creamy and I saw him swim up and I'm thinking he doesn't know I'm here. And then I lost sight of him a bit because he went a bit deeper. And then I saw him nymph one more time and Dave's like, well, just go for it. And I thought, well, yeah, why don't I? And then at first, because I hadn't seen him and because he had gone deeper, I went for this shape that I could see that was much closer to my shore. It wasn't him. But then man, oh man, when I kept looking, kept looking, and sure enough, I was like, no, my gut says that fish is still here. It's still in this zone right along this bank. And, you know, I just kept looking and thought, no, I've got to lead this fish. I led it by plenty, maybe a little bit too much. No, but I don't boy, think so. But boy, oh boy, <laughs> he was coming up for my dry fly, hey? And that slow motion. <laughs> because just, just before I cast, the river had actually started to clear up. And it was like, okay, this is cool. Yeah, and that the cows slow, just muddied the whole thing. Oh, they muddied it up yeah. bad, eh? And just that slow mo. I mean, you said well, you, from you where saw I was, it, hey? I was like, you're casting. I was like, oh, she's coming. I didn't know where the fish was, and you're casting. <laughs> so the other side of the story is, yeah. I'm on the bank in the tussocks. I came all the way back down because I thought, well, if you see a fish, you know, you had this camera and you had to put it down, so we didn't get to eat. And then I snuck into the tussocks to watch, and you started casting. I was like. Wait a second, she's casting at my feet. Oh, and I yeah. was like, I'm looking down. Yeah. And just from my perspective, there's that little one point off that raised bank. And I looked underneath the raised bank at your caddis. And I just see this white underside coming oh. straight up. And the lips were right at me. And I was oh, like, mm. yeah, what? Was like, this, <laughs> this slow motion for yeah. me from the depths, guys, was Look just it. brilliant. Yeah. Awesome job, man. Fun stuff. Thank you. Well, I, I, if there is anything cruising, yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to see it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then Forget it. But but something cruising the shoreline. Yeah, exactly. Like I can sort of see your shore. I can sort of see mine. Yeah. I can definitely see your shore. I can see yeah. It's a tough day. Like it just is. Yeah. It's a long trench, and. We're fighting a lot of bad wind. Holy cow. It's going to be a moving smudge with a tail. <laughs> wow. Holy jumping, eh? It's the land of tussocks. Before the end of the run, you'd think we'd see one. On your bank? On my bank. No. Okay. He's got a fish. There's going to be one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to go and see. Bunch of mayfly shucks around here. You'll see his colors behind. Just up there. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, it really is. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I can put that away. There. It's on the ground behind us. Okay, so this is the only place I'm going to see this fish. Like, like from the other side, it was terrible glare, yeah, hey? You have it no. All. So, and you're going to tell me here. I'm just moving in. Enough? I see him. Yeah, okay. You don't see my eyes No. Okay. I've got it. Has he done much? Oh, he definitely stayed once quite far to his left. Okay. Once quite far to his right. Okay. So, yeah, he is left right. so you, you think you can get on that fish or? I'm definitely on it right now. Oh boy, the sun now comes out, eh? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had to wait because he came over and ate it coming downstream. You see that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He ate that going downstream. Yeah, I did. There he is. 
I don't really want to get in there. It's a gorgeous fish, though. Come on, fish. Out of there. Out of there. Out from there. Just trying to get his head up now. I wish he would have folded rather than just turn, you know? There we go. Ah. Right. Oh. So yes, me too. <laughs> Thanks, love. That was that was freaking epic. Wow. Wow, yeah, let's see Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at that male. Wow. What do you want? You let him go right there. Down up go. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, thanks for spotting that one. Oh man, um, I'm I bet. so happy to find that one for you. <laughs> it's you been know, a rough just, day, but... Honestly, that kind of, uh, again, coppery, coppery. side yep. really showed up and glowed. Yep. And that's what gave him away to me. Yeah. You know, he wasn't doing lots at first, and then I saw him the... do one good swing over to that bank, yep. our bank, True, and right. came back this side. And it was just like, hey, <laughs> Dave, yep, come over. that's a fish. Yep. They're few and far between again today, but, but you know, taking the drive, taking, taking the drive. Wheel, yeah, that's all you had on. That's eh? all I had on. Wicked. I wasn't leaving that the chance. No, nah, I <laughs> don't give that fish a, ch no. a choice. Wicked. Laugh. Great eye, love. Okay. Now it's there. Oh, yeah. Now, right in the middle of the current, hey? Eh? Yep. That's shallow. Wow. Oh, he just nymphed again. I just want to pick him up anyway. Yep. Wow. Amelia just picked out a really gorgeous fish. Another big male, hey? It is. Yeah. It's not doing a whole lot, eh? No, it's not doing heaps, that's for sure. I'm just trying to get my line out. What are you doing? I am ready for you. Okay, that's what I was waiting to hear. Okay, I'm... I apologize. I'm not ready. No worries. I am ready now. Okay, I'm... I'm almost there. I'm trying to get my foot around. Are you ready? Right on him. Gorgeous fish, love. Thank you. Gorgeous fish. Thanks for sighting that one, Mills. That's such a stunning fish. Yeah, hoo, hoo, hoo. What yeah what an eat. Thanks. That was amazing. Gorgeous. What a stunning fish. Be a few minutes here yet, but that was a stunner. Come on. Try to keep him out to the outside if I can. That way I can keep him above me if he folds. But he wants that bank, something fierce, boy. He wants the current, he wants the bank. Come on, bud. Just a solid, solid fish. Whew. Try to kite him around and then fold him maybe. He won't fold over, Dave. Patience, man. Patience. Will he fold this way? Head up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Thank you, love, for spotting that one. Wow, 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 wow. Stunning fish. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning fish. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Here. So great. I that. Here we go. Here we go. Wicked. <laughs> ah, so good. That was amazing. What a fish. What a fish. You love that, hey? Yeah, Isn't it fun sighting for somebody else? It is. Like it's you just go. <gasps> it's like because both of these fish have showed up just yep. actually very colorful. Again, you know that coppery sides to both of them, that yellowy, goldy, coppery, yep. but the dark body on top. Oh yeah. And that's what Stunner. I could see kind of holding in those rocks. <laughs> and I'm going, oh, that's awesome, man. So I hear something. Remember years ago, 
Okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, we we a long time ago did a about eight years, nine years ago we did a actually about five or six years ago we did a video on mustad hooks and how um, basically through the late nineties, early two thousands they just suck. Uh, they changed ownership and they just went dead. <laughs> anyway, so I kept bending hooks out, bending hooks out, bending hooks out, and we switched over to Daiichi. And there's a reason for that. Because that's why. <laughs> This this is on one of those old mustad hooks, and fully bent out. Oh, fully bent out. I was really lucky. Oh, you That's got 45 lucky. degrees. Like so lucky. Like, isn't that amazing? That's 45 over 45 degrees bent out. That's on that head lift and that steel, yeah. that cheap steel that mustad went through. Wanna... Done. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And that tippet just popped like that. Nobody's business. So, you add it up. That's three good fish. Yeah. Lickety split on on, on that same on fly. that same fly. Oh wow! Yep. That's, that's what you get with yeah. that one. <laughs> uh, and now is this the cast over top of that tussock there? Hey, it really was awesome, man. Incredible. Thanks, Lo. I bet really, you're proud really to find those, eh? Hey? Isn't it yeah, fun finding it? Is. it? It's just amazing when yep. you can walk up and you go, wait a second, no, no, that smudge is definitely a fish. <laughs> and it wasn't a smudge from my side. And again, moving a <laughs> no. lot. Like I kind of saw him sway to his left. Uh, subtly, but not. It not. wasn't as much for my side. My side was this big gold brown shell. I was like, ooh, I think I want to take yeah. a cast at that. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? Wicked. Gorgeous. Thanks, Mills. You're welcome. Do you trust your feet? Yep, right here. Okay, in front of you? Yep. Right in front of me. Right here. I'm on you when you're ready. Jeepers. Right there. All right. Right there. Yeah. The gorgeous take was right at me. Wow. He was surfing on this pillow of this clump here, hey? That's awesome. Yeah, really nice fish. Again, gorgeous. It was just glowing in the light, eh? Isn't that cool? Yeah. What a moment that was. We've often caught one here before. Yeah, I was just thinking about the one that fell off your hook and you wound up just landing it by hand. <laughs> right here, actually. Cheapers, hey? Wow. They're buggers to uh, land. Yep. Let me tell you. Just takes time, eh? It just does. Jeepers. Right on. Wicked. That's gorgeous <laughs> fish. Yeah. What a gorgeous big male. Oh, beetles right in the roof of his mouth, too. Yeah, there you go. He was glowing in the sun when the sun was out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me know. That's stunning there. Yeah. Let's do it right there. Wicked. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So Amelia sighted me the last few fish, so I had to find one of my own. I was walking along that bank, coming out of the clearing there, on those tussocks, far tussocks, looking back, and the sun was out right on the top of this clump, right in the middle there. This fish was just glowing. It was like, to be honest with you, I should have had you come over because it was just that stunning a, a visual. I should have had you come over, but Buggers, yeah. yeah. But you don't know if it's gonna stay there, it's that close to you. Yeah. You gotta go while the getting's good. Bow and arrow cast, plop, plink, up. Awesome.
we need your support. Ours is a small channel with low views because we're focused on sharing the how-to to benefit you and your fly fishing. YouTube pays very little, yet this video took two full long work days to edit, a day to film, and had substantive travel costs. We ask you to consider supporting this channel by becoming a channel supporter or joining our full digital membership through our website at jensenflyfishing.com. Here you gain access to all of our fly fishing master courses, short courses, and special productions. You also get access to the extended ad-free versions of all of our YouTube videos with the behind the scenes producer's notes that dive into the subtle points of the conditions and the why behind what we do and share. We sincerely thank you for your support. It's the only way this channel continues.